to this stream because the one I had scheduled is not working. So let me just tell everybody it's over on the other stream that they need to come over and visit us and we'll get going in just a moment. So bear with me. So today we are going to make this little fun cactus block. Last week on my podcast I had actually showed you a different block um, which is just a bit bigger and it has the one little whatever they call these things on the side um, but I wanted to do a second one on this side as well so I tweaked it a little bit and played and it came out a little smaller and that's what the directions I gave you was for so um, I'm just going to wait a few minutes for everyone to sh um, come in and say hi and get together so we don't leave anyone behind. Um, so, But that's what we're going to do today and I'm so glad that you all decided to join me today and I'm looking forward to um, having a great time with um, all my quilty friends today. So I'm just going to switch over to my other stream since we're having just a few technical difficulties. Um, few tech issues. Alright, so it looks like Colleen has um, told everybody um, the new link. I'm not sure what happened last week. I pre-scheduled a live on my app and it worked perfectly and then this morning it just wasn't showing up. So I was like, okay, well, um, yeah, we'll just, we'll make it work. Um, so we've got Shelly's here, Bettina's here, Carrie, Doreen, Colleen, Lisa's all here. Good morning, everybody. Um, Carrie says it is early. Yes, it is. Um, I'm doing early morning lives because, A, it suits me. Um, I'm a morning person. It's not a busy time for lives, so it's where I can kind of sneak in um, and work around all the other live schedules. And I also want to have a live for my friends in Australia and Europe. And, um, you know, in a time frame that works for them, because right now it's about midday or one o'clock in Europe, depending on which country you're in. And in Australia, it's a little little later in the evening. On the western coast, it's about 8, eight, uh, sorry, yeah, 8 p.m. and 10 p.m. on the east coast. But at least it gives them a chance as well to, um, you know, join in something live. Because I know sometimes when they we have our primetime lives, like so Becker's and so forth at 8 p.m., it's very, very late in Europe. So, um, I'm glad you all joined us today. Happy Canada Day for all our Canadian people uh, for yesterday, and then happy 4th of July for um, all our friends here in the US. And um, Shelly says it's 10 p.m. there where she is in Australia, um, and then Colleen's fixed it on Discord. So thank you all much for working with me this morning. You know, we all have technical issues, and um, thankfully we was able just to work our way around it. So, um, I think I showed you already the the cool block. I don't, has any has anyone cut out the fabric um, to join me in, join in with me? If not, you could always um, you know sew along with me later on. You know, replays always available as well. So um, while we wait for everyone to come, I figured since we're having Brecky with the guy who sews, I might throw out some um, fun trivia questions for you guys just to um, just to have some fun. So um, I'm going to throw the questions out just. <laughs> answer them and there's no physical prizes it's just a bit of fun um, put your answers in the chat if you want and then um, for every one you get right um, just give yourself a point and we'll see who comes up with the um, most correct answers so they're all about breakfast cereals so for our international people it may be a little more difficult because it's more the US cereals but a lot of these I think are sold um, worldwide as well so question number one is Busby is the mascot for which cereal? So we'll see if anyone has the answer to that one. <laughs> All right, Colleen says it's nice to have some lives early. Um, Lisa says, "Oh no, brain work on a Saturday morning." This is just for fun. I mean, um, you know, I figured give ourselves something to do while we wait for everyone to show up because, you know, it is early and I don't want to um, get started real early and you know leave someone behind if I don't have to. Um, Chris says good morning. Um, all right, so Cheerios was the um, answer that KD Crafts put in, 
And the um, correct answer is Honey Nut Cheerios. Um, so if you put Cheerios or Honey Nut or anything else like that, give yourself a point. You know, it's early and we don't have to be perfect. Um, what color shirt does Busby wear? If you get this one right, I'll be very impressed because I got this one wrong. Alright, so does anyone know what color shirt that Busby wears? Let's see. Alright, Lisa says blue. That is a good guess. Alright, Colleen says she hasn't had a coffee yet. <laughs> Breakfast cereals, maybe I can. Okay, Elizabeth Helvey says yellow and Bettina says black and yellow. Correct answer apparently is yellow, so good job guys. Um, we'll just throw a couple more out there. Um, let's see. Um, what animal is the mascot for Trix breakfast cereals? Alright, good morning Nelly, Christine's here, Beverly. It is so great to see each and every one of you. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. I'm having a blast doing these um, lives and, you know, although I'm not fully awake, um, you know, we're still going to have a good time. Okay, so a lot of people are um, chiming in with Rabbit, and that is the correct answer. All right, let's see. Um, since everybody is asleep, this one should be fairly easy for everybody. Um, what are the names of the Rice crispy Elves? And in other markets, it may be known as Rice Bubbles. Um, that's what we used to call those in Australia. All right, Kerry Wood says, my middle son asked for foot cereal. We had to walk the aisles of the grocery stores to find it. What he wanted was kicks. Okay, very cool. <laughs> like that. <laughs> All right, so um, let's see. Snack, crackle, and pop is the correct answer. And then let's see. Um... I had some. Okay, who is the mascot for Fruit Loops? We'll see who knows that. This one should be fairly easy for most, I would think, but I could be wrong. Alright, Toucan Sam is the answer coming in, and that is definitely correct. And then, let's see, um, one more, and we'll call it a day, is what cereal had a mascot with dual personalities? All right, Colleen says she can't spell. I can't spell either. That's why um, they invented spell check. Um, so don't worry about spelling. This is not the spelling bee. So if you, get it, if you can't spell it right, don't even worry about it. It's all good. And so let's see if anyone knows what c cereal has a mascot with dual personalities. Alright. Okay, so Lisa says she's stumped. Okay, this one was a little difficult. I mean, I just pulled these up online. Um, the correct answer is mini wheats because it's um, got that frosted stuff on one side and just the plain wheat on the other. So, um, that is the answer to that one. So thank you for joining me. Uh, did you guys enjoy the little trivia just to get ourselves started? Um, if it is, it's something I would happily do um, each week. If it's not something you guys enjoy, then we won't do it. So let me know what you guys think of that. All right. Um, yes, yeah, somewhat. Beverly said Frankensberries. That was a good answer. Um, yeah, how about, how about we give you um, credit for that one? Why not? I think it sounds like a good answer. Okay, so I have my um, little pile of fabrics. I've, I've cut out the... Um, all the fabric requirements were actually on the other live that I had started. So um, I'll copy that over into the description of this if you guys want to come back and do it later on. But basically, I have some brown or something close to it. Um, for the ground, and then if you want to use, like I used all scraps, if you want to use like some printed fabric that's in the same line, um, you're always welcome to do that, and then I have my sky fabrics, which I just used the sky blue, and then I used a dark green, and I still have more of that, a medium green, and then a light green, so... Let's see, I just want to check the chat real quick. Everyone's saying good morning. Um, Alright, everyone, a lot of people seem to like the trivia, so that's good. 
So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to grab our dark green and our light green fabrics that are one inch by six and a quarter inches, and then our two pieces of one by one inch, and we're going to sew diagonally across the top from here to here, so that way once it flips over, it'll give us a nice little, it'll look like that. So go ahead and We'll go ahead and sew that together. So that's for the dark green and the light green. And we'll just move the camera in just in a moment. All right, let's see. Okay, where is my foot pedal? You know what? One of these days I'm going to come more organized. If you have any questions, um, please let me know in the chat. If you can, tag me as the guy who sews it'll pop up orange and make it just a little easier for me to see. Um, but if not, I'm sure Colleen or one of my other mods will happily um, bring it to my attention as well. Okay, and so we'll grab... We've done the dark green. And now we'll do the light green. Alright, so that part is done. This is going to go together pretty quickly, I think. Okay. And so now you'll just go ahead and trim a quarter inch or close enough to it. I always just eyeball it. Throw him away. Alright, thank you, Colleen, for giving the directions. Yeah, if you just put the at sign and then their username. And if you're on a computer, a lot of times if you do the at and start typing in the first letter or two, it'll actually like help you pre-fill it in as well, which I find is a neat feature. Unfortunately, it doesn't do that on the phone. Alright, so you should have your dark green or light green look like this now. If you're using solids, you don't have to worry about right sides together, but if you are using a print, make sure these are right sides together when you put it together. I sh should have mentioned that earlier. So, next, and you know what? I've goofed this up. Ah, oh, that's not good. Okay, so, um, these are actually supposed to be opposite, like this one's supposed to be going the other way. So, um, I'm going to have to fix that real quick. That's not good. Okay. That's why I said bring extra fabric in case you have to do, do something again. Alright, where did my... There it is. Alright. And this is where you'll learn that nobody is perfect. Alright, so Melissa says hi. I hope she's doing well with her um, after her surgery yesterday. So, Miss Scrunchins is here. Okay, and then... Oh, I hope this is enough fabric. I may not have enough. Oh, no. Alright, we're, we're all good. We're going to do this again and do it right this time. is the only mistake we make this morning. Alright, so that one was wrong. Okay. So, when you do this, we're going to do it right this time, is when you do the green one, the light green, you want to make sure the diagonal is this way, so when it all goes together, it goes together the right way. And then this one will go the opposite way. So we'll go across down like that, and you know 
we all live and learn, right? Okay. So we got to do this again correctly. Okay. Way. Okay, so now we should have opposite corners. Okay, so now now we're now we're in business. So now we're gonna grab our light green and our medium green and we're gonna sew these right sides together. If you need a clip or a pin, you know, go ahead. If you think you can do it without, um, that is perfectly fine too. And then I did see someone mention about these being really small pieces. Yes, they are. I kind of figured it out um, well after I started this. If you guys were interested in it being bigger, um, I can always redesign the block to make it bigger. So just let me know if it's something you want, and I can always work it out in the near future and include instructions for a bigger block. I am new to designing blocks and it's something I want to do more of so like, please give me a feedback um, so I can do stuff that you guys enjoy right. good morning dear Linda it's good to see you I'm trying to see if I've missed anybody else I think I've said good morning to everybody if I missed you I do apologize Okay, so now it should look like so, and then we'll go ahead and attach this one, so I'm still trying to make sure I get the camera angle right. Alright, so um, Nancy Guess is asking which brother I have. <laughs> It is the XL2600i. It was, um, my wife got it for me on Amazon about eight or nine years ago when I started selling. I think it was like one of the cheaper models, like 80 or 90 dollars. It wasn't expensive, but it's, it's been a great machine and I love it. I use it for all my piecing and everything else. Uh, I don't, don't do a lot of quilting on it because the throat space is fairly small. I have a banana for that, but for everything else, I use this machine for. Alright. Oh. Alright, so we should now have this big tall part of our cactus. It will be poking up a little bit here at the top but that should get um, hidden once we do our seam allowance. So our next step is we got to put the side portions of our cactus this part here and this one over here. And so I put the darkest the darker one next to the light and vice versa but if you want to change it up you know it's, it's your block you can definitely do that as well and so now I'm going to get my small piece um, it is the 1 by 1.75 by 1 piece and where did the other piece go see I told you I was new at this No, I lie. We'll, we'll do it this way. All right, so you should have a three, three by one piece of light green and a three by 1.25 piece of blue. We'll go ahead and sew these right sides together. And this is going to um, form the vertical side of one of the little pieces that stick out.
then for the other side, we're going to do the same basic thing. We're just going to grab our 1 by 2.5, and, and then the 1.25 1. by 2.5 as well, these two pieces. All right. So The scrunch and says they love bright colors and yes, yeah, definitely great to see early in the morning. Uh, Wendy K says you can also start with wider strips and then trip each side down to the size you want it to be. So start with two inch wide strips and then trip, trim down to the one inch on each side of the seat. That is definitely true as well. I mean, there's so many different ways of doing this. Um, Colleen says, does that one have trouble with multiple layers? My cheaper brother and they're both pretty cheap doesn't like pinwheels or flying geese intersections. No, I haven't had that issue. Um, if it's really, um, if it's a lot of layers, like with heavier materials like denim, um, like I put belt loops on Amanda's jeans and stuff for her sometimes, it will struggle with that. But other than that, it's, um, I really haven't had too many issues. Like with quilting, it's been really, really good. And the only time I've really had trouble with it is when I need to change the needle. Yeah, apparently when she bought the machine, she did a lot of research with um, one of her friends um, that sewed. And this was one of the ones that everybody kept saying was really good. And um, she did really good picking this one. So, Okay, so now we're going to grab our little piece, like a tiny piece of light green, which is the 1 by 7 5 by one And then there's another piece that is 1.75 inch squares. Uh, Alright, so um, if anyone does enjoy knitting, my wife does have a knitting podcast uh, where she talks about her knitting adventures, like what she um, has made, what she's finished and so forth, and she put out a new episode, I think Thursday, um, so if you haven't checked that out, definitely do so if you are interested in knitting at all. I'll go ahead and move everything. And then we're going to grab our dark green, and then this one's just a little higher. It's going to be two and a quarter by 1.75, and we're going to sew this together. And this is going to form the bottom of our um, pieces of the cactus that stick out. All right, so the butt got Lisa for emoji symbols. Okay, let me go fix that real quick. I thought I had made that... Um, more friendly, but apparently not friendly enough. Okay, just bear with me a second. Yeah, Scrunch and Scissors will make a nice foundation paper piece pattern as well, and that is very true. Um, I've actually thought about that um, when I was putting this together, but I wanted to do a traditional piecing um, just for... Uh, bear with me a second, I'm trying to fix the emojis uh, all right that should fix that problem good morning Brenda great to see you yeah bear with me on the um, bot um, we're trying to figure out what the best settings are for that and we think we've I think I fine-tuned it for the most part but you know like anything we gotta have a few issues here and there so just to recap, this is what we're making today. Yeah, I think I had the emoji set for like 15 or 16. I bumped it up to like 35 or something. So that's that problem. All right, so now we have this, which will be the side. And then we can go ahead and add it to. So this will be the bottom part of it. And then we'll attach him like so. Yes, okay. I'm looking at my um, display model to make sure I don't do it backwards again. And I think we've got to be done a little early because we're almost done with this already. Alright, 
Miss Lori has joined us. Oh, it's per chat, not per message. Oh, okay. I did not understand that. Okay. Well, I better go fix some of this stuff then, better not I? You know what? Why don't we just turn it off? There we go. Alright, the emoji things is now fixed. I had no idea that it was, um... It was like that, but that's okay. We'll, we'll figure this out. Alright, what have I done here? Okay, that'll be, that'll be good, um... Colleen. Yeah, Colleen's been teaching us a lot of us about the night butt and um, she's been an invaluable resource for this. Alright, and I just had to pull my friend out. And I appreciate everyone being so patient and um, understanding while we while we work through this because it's a learning experience for all of us. Okay, and I attached the wrong piece of fabric here this morning, so my friend Jack and I are having a little session. I will be more prepared as I do these more. I have a ton of ideas for different blocks I want to make, um, so if this is something you enjoy, please let me know in the um, chat that you are enjoying this, even though I am making all sorts of mistakes because I would like to do this more. And then while we're doing this, um, why don't I talk about what we have lined up. Next Saturday, I have my friends um, Beth and Courtney, Beth from Goody Goods and Courtney from Pieces Love and Quilting. And they're going to actually teach me how to do foundation paper piecing. So that will be a lot of fun. And I'm really looking forward to seeing that. Um, and then the following week, um, the 20th, no, this, what was it, the 16th? Um, I'm going to have Melissa from Practically Creative join me, and she is going to show me how to, um, how we got to do freezer paper applique. And so that, that'll be a lot of fun too, because I, I, I enjoy applique, as you saw last week, if you um, watch my live there. And she's going to show me a different method of doing it. Um, I usually put fusible backing on the back of mine, but you can actually do it with freezer paper as well. And that's something else I want to do with these lives, is invite different people on, whether you have a channel or not, um, that can teach us different techniques, because there's a wealth of information out there with um, all, you, all you guys, and I, I can definitely learn stuff from you, along with a lot of other people. So... Okay, and so now that I've done this correctly, I hope. Alright, so, um, yeah, I was going to go answer Scrunchen's question, but it looks like Colleen's done that for me, so I appreciate that. Nancy says, I don't know how you all talk and put things together right. Um, yeah, it is a challenge. I'm, I'm still learning that. I think the folks that have done it, it's like anything else, the more you practice and the more you do it, the easier it gets. You should now have one of these, and one of these that has a million darn strings. Okay, and then this will be for the other side. Oh, don't tell me I've done this wrong again. Oh. Yes, I have. Oh, dang it. Okay, so. My friend and my friend Jack and I are going to be friends once again. Now 
Okay. And I was just sitting here thinking to myself the other day that I haven't had to use my friend Jack in quite a long time. And now that I'm doing this thing live in front of dozens of people, I'm using it all the time. Okay. Okay, I must ask, is it a cacti or a cactus? I believe, now I could be wrong on this, um, that if it's one, it's a cactus, and then if it's multiple, it's cacti. But if someone wants to go look that up, just to make sure I'm not telling lies, um, you're more than welcome to correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, so um, Colleen's saying that bots are very popular, big channels, um, and so forth. It's to, like, avoid trolls and that sort of thing there. And then I also like the idea of having the bots, so that way you can put the commands in for the different um, channels, and that helps my mods out as well. Like, you can put in my channel link and, um, you know, a bunch of my friends' channel links and that sort of thing there as well. So it um, has quite a few different purposes. Okay, so now that we have these parts, all right, good morning, Linda from Hamilton. I know exactly where Hamilton is. It's not that far from Toronto, if I remember correctly. All right, I hope you had a good Canada Day yesterday. Okay. So now we're going to put on this side, on the light green, we're going to use this bigger piece of fabric, which is 1.75 by 2.5. And you learn, like here on a live, that it's a whole lot different than recording a tutorial for a video, because if you mess up on tutorial, you can just delete that, re-record it, and no one will ever be the wiser, whereas here, when you mess up, everybody sees. But that's okay, you know, it's it's good to show people that we are not perfect, and that mistakes happen, and that you can fix them. Lisa says, it's a hard thing, you know, being human and stuff. Yes, I agree with that. I just, you know, I'm not ashamed to say that I make mistakes. And I think it's good to show that, you know, no matter who you are, you know, you all make mistakes and you're all learning. You know, this is definitely new to me, designing. It's something I'd like to do more of. I actually have, like, a huge list of stuff I want to do. And so, you know, over the coming weeks and months, you know, we'll do a bunch of different little tasks. And that's um, a question I do have, is would you guys like just to have me make random blocks? Um, or would you, um, like to have a series, like, you know, maybe do, like, a, a desert series where we do the, um, cactus one week and, like, a, a, you know, all different desert Wild West type things, and so we can actually make a, a quilt out of it after, you know, who knows how long. Alright, so we have this, and this, and then we have the center part. All right, so Laurie's off to the market, hoping you can run in and out, not wanting to stand on long light. I find if you go this early, like, if I have to go to Walmart or anything else like that, I find if you go at, like, 7, 8 o'clock in the morning, usually everybody's still asleep, and you can usually duck in and out pretty well. So, um, I, I wish you luck. Hopefully it works out well. So now, what we're going to do is attach look, this together. I hope you can see. Oh, good morning, Fallon. It's way too early. I just realized I wasn't watching where the video was live. I didn't understand why the chat was. Okay. All right. So, yeah, what happened, Fallon, is I scheduled this live this morning um, to go live at 8. I did the same thing last week, and it went up nicely, but it was not showing up as scheduled on my um, YouTube app where I went live. So I had to create a new live and jump over to this one. So, yeah, it's one of those technical issues that 
I was able to figure out, thankfully. But I'm really glad you got to join me. I know you are. It's really early there in Texas. do a medallion quilt just to for okay yeah we can we can definitely look into that i mean i'm always up for ideas like i want to do what you guys want to do like i'm up for anything i'll have to go look up what a medallion quilt is because i'm not gonna lie and say i know um but yeah let's let's um figure that out and see how we can do that and this has come up short not good. Why did this come up short? Oh, I just need to stretch it. Okay. All right. All's good. Where's my magic clip? All right. Good morning, Melissa. Glad you could join us. I hope you're doing well and you were able to sleep sleep last night. I know sometimes after procedures, it's hard to sleep because you every time you move on that part, it's hard. We all love you and are glad that you're doing okay. Okay, let's try this again. I saw someone had mentioned a little earlier that their um, seam ripper had gotten dulled. Um, I'm sure I'm heading that way soon. That's why I have two or three of them. I always figure if I ever created a um, subscription box, that would be one of the first things I'd include as a new seam ripper. Alright, so now we have this and so all we need to do now is basically put the piece on the top and on the sides and then the ground on the bottom and we are all done so we are very close so we'll go ahead and attach our side pieces first and I do not know why these are longer but that's okay Lisa at the Beehive Buffs Buzz says seam rippers not only get dull, but they have a tendency to disappear. Yeah, that's why, and this is an interesting story, I keep mine in this cup, um, which used to be a drinking cup, but then I don't know if you can see very well, but um, our darling dog, Finley, decided she wanted to, um, you can see it over here now a little better, she decided to chew this cup up one night. She grabbed it, she took it underneath our bed, and she went to town on it for quite some time um, before I could get it out from underneath the bed. And by that time, it was already chewed, you know, where you can't really drink out of it. So I decided I'd um, put all my scissors and seam rippers and that sort of thing there as well. So, yeah, the joys of having a puppy. Yes, Melissa says new seam rippers are cheap, thankfully. Um, remember, that's how I got my second one. I was at the um, quilt, at my local quilt shop and they had them there. It was like on the uh, the register, you know, like a suggestive sell thing. It was like a buck 19 or something. I'm like, yeah, I could use a second one of those. Yes, yeah, so if anyone has a uh, quilt shop, you know, definitely put your seam rippers at the register because they are something that Anybody that's sewn for a while will definitely pick up and buy another one off. Yeah, I won't have to wait till I do the other side. Okay. And we'll do the same thing 
for the other side. Thank you, Fallon. She says it's such a cute block. I really had fun making this. You know, it's just something I was doodling with. Um, I just I doodle sometimes while I'm at work. Um, and that's how I've come up with a couple of different blocks. There's a sailboat block I'm going to teach on Stephanie Stitch's channel in the next couple of weeks. And I showed you that block, I think, on my podcast a couple of weeks ago. And then, yeah, I've, just, I've got a bunch of ideas. I've still got to sit there and actually come up, you know, come up with them but, and put them together. But they're on the, on the list. And I don't use electric quilts or anything else like that. I just sit there and draw them up and make it up to go along. Okay, so we now have that, and it is not perfect. You can see it's not perfectly put together, but that's okay. Because I'm not entering this in the quilt show. So now I'm going to put another piece on the top, and these are all my one and a half by six and whatever it was I said, six and a half. And these are probably going to be too big if I had to trim them down, but that's okay. Actually, this one came out pretty close. How about that? Okay, no, yeah, thank you, Kay. No court police here today, thankfully, yes. Um, if there was, they probably would have pulled me off quite a long time ago. Melissa says the um, police are cordially invited to leave. That's very true. But yeah, thankfully we don't really have that issue. I've never come across that issue here with um, my friends here at YouTube. We've all been such a great, happy, um, inclusive, inviting community. Um, I don't know where... I've, I've heard the court police have been out in different areas, but definitely not with me, thankfully. Alright, so now I'm just going to trim the excess, because, you know, mistakes were made. And then our last step is I'm going to put, put my ground at the bottom. We'll zip back up over here. Hopefully I didn't give anybody vertigo. Alright, so those joining, Sean will get the fabric requirements in the detail box. It's in the other one, but yeah, tech have to make the change stream. Yes, yeah, so I'll definitely um change that over. I'll put that in the description once this is all done and I put it back public again. Because I have to, it goes private originally and I have to change it to um so you guys can see the replay, but I'll do that like five minutes after we finish here. So that way, if you guys, you know, down the track want to make this, I would love it. You know, that'd be great. And if you do make it, please share photos with me. Because I always like to see what people make with the um, patterns and ideas that I share. All right, Joyce says you came in late. Watch the replay later. Yeah, that's always a good thing, is you can always watch the replays whenever. So, I'll 
changes up. We are now all done as soon as I cut these strands off. And that is your completed block. And it looks fairly close to the other one. Except the only now I just realized that last time I used the light and the medium on the sides on the first block and then this one has the light and the dark but they both look really cool so that is your cactus block and hopefully you guys enjoyed it and hopefully my um, instructions made sense I, um, if they didn't you know and you have questions about these blocks if you're making it and you get stuck somewhere you know definitely reach out and ask you know I can be reached on Facebook Messenger, I have my email address and so forth there. You're always welcome to ask questions about that as well. Um, so that is what I had for this morning. I was hoping to take about an hour, which um, I came in 10 minutes, early, well, 12 minutes early. So um, we've done well. So um, someone saying here that the grammar police gave me more than the quilting police. Uh, Lisa's a grammar teacher. My wife is an English teacher as well, um, but thankfully, she, you know, she doesn't do a whole lot of grammar correction on me because, you know, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Um, all right, let me just check over the chat real quick. Uh, Melissa says pay to rent, please. Yes, if you did enjoy the video, definitely, um, you know, hit that like button. It helps me out. And it helps, um, the reason we all ask for likes is it does help YouTube and the app, um, what's it called, the... Uh, not the anagram, the algorithm. We'll get it right in a minute. Um, realize that you guys enjoy the content and it tends to push it out onto um, you know new new viewers as well because I love each and every one of you, but I would also like to reach more people as time goes on as well because why why just keep it to us? You know why not share the love as well? Um, I don't know, do you want to see Miss Rowena? Do you want to say good morning, everybody, Rowena? You might see Rowena here in the background. Um, Colleen says Amanda is an angel. That is very, very true. Um, thankfully, Lisa says she um, tells us not to worry because she's off duty today. Um, is there any questions or comments that you guys have about the block or anything else in general? Just want to see if I missed anything. If there's any questions that I missed. Uh, definitely just re re ask. I, I'm going to go back up again real quick. Uh, Dear Linda says she has a very first scene ripper from a Kenmore over 40 years ago. That is awesome. I love that. Um, I don't think I missed anything. All right. So Pat Sloan has a medallion quilt. Let me go look at that real quick because now now I'm curious. Oh, okay. That's got to be fun. All right. Yeah, that's that's a pretty intricate little quilt. Yeah, but we can always um we can always throw something together at some point. Oh, that one's cute. But you can't. I'm looking on the computer screen, which I can't share. Um, yeah. Okay. That, that's something good to think about that we can do. So, um, probably won't be tomorrow, but, you know, we can always do a medallion quilt together at some point. I think that'd be a fun idea. All right, so, um, let's see. Lisa says, thanks, Sean. I do love the cactus. I, uh, the reason, um, the reason I asked, I chose the cactus, and this is the story I meant to share earlier, but I forgot, is it reminds me of my mother because she loved cactus we had um cactus plants all over the all over the garden growing up and we actually had one kind of like this in a huge pot um near our front door and there was one time when i was about 11 or 12 and um yeah i slid down the banister off the front door because it was like eight steps to get up to the front of the house and I slipped off the um the railing and landed right on top of this cactus and 
that was not a pleasant experience trying to pull out the little spines out of your tail end for about two hours but you know I learnt not to do that again so um, but yeah that's just I was doodling and I did the cactus and it reminds me of my mother who um, we lost 15 years ago and so this is just like a happy memory of her because you know she just loved cacti um, so much so um, yeah if you want to deter young boys from sliding down banisters, um, get yourself a nice big cactus plant and, yeah, they're going to hurt themselves once, but they won't do it again. So, um, that is my fun childhood story for you for today. Um, but yeah, I think we're just about done for this morning, unless anyone else has any questions. Um, we'll just hang out for just another moment just to see if I missed anything or any comments. Um, did someone get on the night the butt I turned that off I'm sorry Lisa um uh, emotes ah oh, the sim okay I'm gonna okay that should fix it I thought I turned that off already but um alright sassy says says hi hi sassy Steph I hope you're feeling better with um your illness um Joyce Baker says my mum put Cricket bushes where she wanted us to stay away. Yeah, I think that's why my mother put it there too, um, to be honest. So, um, definitely a good trick. It works well. Um, I can definitely um, relate to that. So, I went ahead and fixed the symbols and emoji thing on the bot. So, that should hopefully not be an issue anymore. Um, thank you for mentioning that because, you know, we're, we're, we're trying to figure out the correct um, settings for this. And then, you know, while I figure out we can always share with you know all my friends that are also content creators so going forward um next week we will learn how to do foundation paper piecing with beth and courtney in two weeks we'll have melissa teach me how to do um freezer paper applique i'll have my podcast tomorrow and i'm excited to be able to show you guys um some of the progress on the koala quilt amongst other things so definitely come back and check that out and i think that is pretty much it for right now. And then on the 23rd, um, three weeks from now, at 3 p.m., we're going to have our Scrappy Project um, so along together, um, which is going to be myself, Courtney, Beth, Melissa, Fallon, Donna, and am I missing someone? Possibly, but it's still early, and I haven't had coffee yet, so we'll blame that. Um Yes, Joyce says she rang the bell for reminders going forward. That is great. Yes, I'm going to um, put my live stream things probably just one like one week ahead, um, schedule it, and hopefully next week it'll actually behave itself, and then if not, we'll always um, work something out like we did this morning. So thank you all so much for joining me this morning. I um, love each and every one of you that decided to um, join me for a little while. Um, if you... You know, have need to go back and review something. The replays are always here, which is always great. Um, I know when I watch tutorials, I sometimes have to go back and watch a, the same step twice, three, ten times, and so forth. So, um, I think that is it. Yeah, all I hope you all have a long. A lot of you have long weekends, um, both in Canada and the U.S. And Europe seems to have a holiday every other week in July and June. So, um, have a great weekend come back tomorrow for my um, podcast episode 28 and um, we'll see you all next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.